Getting a really fluid bow stroke is a very difficult thing, especially because as younger kids, we've often been taught exactly where to put our fingers, exactly what they should look like and where they should stay. But an advanced bow hold is a really fluid and dynamic thing where the fingers are all really like, they're all controlling the bow um, together. So this is how I want you to try to find this, this bow stroke. Um, I want you to focus on one thing first, and that's the bow hair. The bow hair is a flat line. It's stretched between the tip and the frog. And so I want you to keep that hair the same angle. Imagine like it's a laser beam that shoots out of the bottom of the frog and goes to the tip and maybe aim for a place on the floor and a place on the ceiling and don't change those places. And, and just without worrying about your bow hand, just drag the bow in a straight line. See if you can keep it from wobbling this way or, or uh, this way. If you're having trouble and feel like I'm getting choked in like that, check if your hand is below the bow. The, the, the bow. If your hand is below the bow, it's gonna have a harder time controlling it. So move your hand above the bow and see if that's any easier. It should be. All right, so the next part is we wanna get this kind of stroking motion, this petting motion. So I want you to imagine that you're petting some sort of pet, um, like a big fluffy dog or a cat. And I want you to actually hold the bow in your left hand and put it against your left shoulder. Don't worry about getting any rosin on your shoulder. I can wipe it off. And I want you to take your first finger and I want you just to stroke the bow like this. You might notice that your finger changes direction. It should at least. Try to make it change direction. As you go down, your finger is going to drag behind your hand and kind of point up. And as you go up, it's going to be the opposite. Try to touch the bow in between your first joints, your first two uh, knuckles, sorry. See how it's there and not behind this knuckle? We don't want this because this is going to be too much uh, pressure and not enough flexibility. It should be right between these two knuckles. There's kind of like this sweet spot where the knuckles uh, make a little gap. And that's where your bow should, your finger should touch on the bow. So I want you to feel that sideways pressure. This is on the side of my finger here. And now I want you to put your fingers on the bow as, uh, on, the, on the bow stick as if you're gonna hold the bow. It should be very gentle. You don't need to use any support any tension in your right hand, rather. Your left hand's doing all the holding right now. Right hand's, uh, right first finger is touching in the uh, magic sweet spot between the knuckles. Second finger, just reach around and touch, not too deep. Again, we want it to touch between those two knuckles. Third finger's actually gonna touch more on the pad. It's not gonna be so deep. On the pad of the third finger's where we wanna touch. And then pinky, just curve it and just tickle. Just barely touch that end of the of the pinky. And thumb, touch underneath of the second finger to third finger, wherever it's more comfortable for you. And make sure it's bent. So we don't need to have any pressure here, any, any work being done with the hand at all. We're just touching the bow. Now I want you to do the same thing. Keep those fingers connected and stroke up and down. And now let your first finger Travel, let your other fingers travel a little bit too. Don't worry about the fingers coming up. And try to get the wrist to bend as your hand becomes fluid. Lead with the wrist, let the hand and fingers follow. Lead with the wrist, let the hand and fingers follow. Lead with the wrist, lead with the wrist, lead with the wrist. Try to make a very smooth turnaround. And now we're gonna grab the frog. Sorry, we're gonna, we're going to grab the bow in its normal place at the frog. Feel the thumb hit the edge of the frog right there. And that's when you know that you should stop. Your third finger should be touching the frog itself. Your pinky should be basically at the edge of the frog a little farther back. If it's at the screw, you've gone too far. We just want a nice relaxed hand, natural spacing. First finger is probably on the silver winding. Second finger is around the grip, the leather part. Now we're going to keep that same motion 
except now we're dragging the bow with us. And now get the violin. Keep the bow flat. Keep the hair flat on the string. What we really actually want to aim for is a slight tilt away from the bridge. If we concentrate on it being flat, that's actually naturally going to happen. 